I grew up with a really tight family, so to come to like this where it's almost like a second family has been incredible for me. Um, it's been one of those things that I've just embraced and you know, you, you're able to walk into an environment every single day where you know, you're working hard and you're sweating and you're doing all this stuff that sometimes doesn't seem necessarily fun, but you're doing it with people that you love and so it makes it fun. You get to go to so many you know, places and see so many things that you know, normal students wouldn't. Um, and just the opportunities to be a role model for, for kids and, and just to, to share my faith. It's been a platform for that. And so just like everything just has kind of fallen in a place where you, know, you just get opportunities that you wouldn't normally have. Not a lot of people can say they've had six, seven surgeries. So I would say my injuries for sure have just kind of really changed the dynamic of my whole college career and, and just like the journey that I've had. It's, it's altered it completely. And I think just leadership wise, you know, this year has been unique because I'm having to do all my leadership skills off the court. Like, you know, keep girls' attitudes focused, keep girls mentally there. And, and so really I can't do a lot once the game starts. It's kind of all behind the scenes stuff that not a lot of people see. Anyone really walking out into your first Big 12 collegiate game, really even the exhibition game, I remember I just had goosebumps and you look out there and you see all those purple people <laughs> or purple fans just yelling and screaming your name, you see signs and you know it's just you know it's, it's what every college player really dreams about and um, and so really you know um, I can't say thank you enough to them how much they've supported us as a team, me as a player and um, you know they're really they're really the heartbeat of K-State women's basketball. I think Kelsey will probably say the same thing um, but our freshman year when we went to KU and we won the Big 12 championship um, not necessarily because we neither of us played in that game, but just because like the camaraderie that we had as a team, um, it was just a, such a, like a, a monumental really experience for all of us, and to be able to win that, um, I would say is probably like probably the best uh, memory. Um, and then on top of that, I would really just say like every single day, like every single day, being able to be around your best friends, be around people that you love and care about, um, those are the memories that I'm gonna take. You're in and around people that are trying to make you better. Um, you do stuff off the court. Um, you're so close with everyone. You know everyone's, you know, tendencies. You know, by the end of your career, you're finishing each other's sentences. It's, it's to the point where it gets to, we spend a little bit too much time together. But, you know, it's, it's really good and, and it's awesome to be able to, to be able to come to somewhere that, and you actually can call your team your family. You know, it doesn't really happen a lot of places. And they're going to love you for your flaws, and they're going to love you when you get up at 6 a.m. and look like crap, and then they're going to love you, you know, when you're, you know, at your best. And so I'm just going to miss probably relationships and, and the people here the most, not necessarily the things on the court or, or the, the rings or, you know, whatever. None of that really is going to matter to me. It's really going to be the people. I, I really am speechless when it comes to the coaches. I, um, I had amazing, an amazing family growing up, and, and just the foundation that they laid has just been continued here. And um, just the amazing Christian woman that Coach Patterson is, the, the role model she is, the almost second mother that she is to me. Um, it is it has just been able, um, or just been amazing to be a part of. Um, I'm blessed to know her, to be involved with her, um, to be a player for her for four years. Um, it was the best decision of my entire life to come here.